Hey, bro. Hey, what's up? Wasn't expecting you so soon. Yeah, my son's birthday party ended a little early, so I thought I'd stop by. Sounds good to me, man. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Well, let's just go inside. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go over here. So, the army, man. I can't believe you, of all people, enlisted in the army. How long are you, are, are you going to be here for? Just a few weeks on paid leave. Head back into active duty on the 19th. Man, it's just, you used to be such a pacifist, you know? Remember when that military recruiter came by and you made those jokes about drone strikes? Mm, yeah, I'm not exactly proud of that. The truth is, I was kind of an immature dumbass back then. I didn't understand all the sacrifices that our military service members make every damn day to keep us safe. It's kind of a cringy memory, really. The army changed me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand, so I, I take it it's been tough. Hopefully you haven't bombed too many Iraqi hospitals. <laughs> That's really not cool of you to say. You shouldn't say crap like that. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'm serious. It's extremely offensive. That sounds just like something I would have said back in the day. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Look, why don't we just play a game and forget about it? Sure. And what would you say to a little wine? Well, I do have to drive home after this, so I think I'll take a rain check. But, uh, plus, you know, aren't you more of a logger guy? Like I said, I'm a changed man. How about some apple juice instead? <laughs> All right, sounds good. Guy, oh, come here, little guy. How are you doing? Danger didn't tell me he had a dog. Mm -hmm. right, I'll let you go. I'll let you go, little guy. Mm. What? A, what a tough guy. Hmm. Interesting dog. Hey, what's that dog's name? Oh, that dog. Uh, Ace. Hmm. Ace the dog. How long have you had it? He's a bit quiet. Oh, a uh, few months, I guess. Here's your juice. Thanks. Hmm. I thought you said this was apple juice. This looks like grape juice. Well, what's the difference? Ran out of apple juice. Just drink it. It's all the same crap. All right, all right, Mr. Pushy. I guess you're still a little upset about that dumb joke I made earlier. You're right. I'm being a jerk. Let's just have fun. This is pretty great, you know? It reminds me of prom night. <laughs> yes, you're right. These games used to have a comforting presence for me. But nowadays I only really play them when I have friends over. Oh, seriously? That's a shame. You should get back into it. Nah. Honestly, I don't really have much time for fun and games when I'm deployed. And when I'm not deployed, I'm usually spending my time strategizing, mentally preparing myself for the next time I am. I don't have hobbies. Dude, that's really sad. No. No, no. The Army is way more important than any of this stuff. You know, 
The army is the only thing standing between us and those damn terrorists who threaten our freedom and try to take our liberty away. They're going to have our liberty when I'm a cold, motionless corpse. Yeah, I mean, you guys do good work. I do think our government invests a little too much money into the whole military-industrial thing, but... What are you talking about? You know, the whole thing about how America spends twice as much money on the military than any other country. But we can't afford universal health care, right? <laughs> it's for damn good reason. No other country on this planet has as many enemies that want to take their freedom away. Hey man, I mean, look, I respect all that you guys do with the military and all. Don't get me wrong. You're not acting like it. You're acting like one of those Marxist traitors I used to go to college with. All I did was state a fact. Yeah, and gave a crappy opinion nobody asked for. Just keep your damn political beliefs to yourself. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry. I'll just shut up about the army. You guys are awesome heroes. I, I have to pee. Oh, well, hi there, little guy. You just keep coming out of nowhere. You've got to be the quietest dog I've ever met. Man, that dog is so funny. Did he come through here? Yeah, I, uh, I let him outside. He likes to sleep in the dirt sometimes. Huh, doesn't sound half bad, actually. So, what's your fondest memory of the military, if you don't mind me asking? Hmm. It's a hard one. I gotta say when my drill sergeant scolded me on the first day of basic training. Wow. That's your fondest memory? That doesn't sound too nice. It wasn't. He said I was bad. Very, very bad. He actually grabbed my head and rubbed my face on the ground when I wouldn't follow orders. I was stupid. Holy crap. That can't be following protocol. It was good for me. I'm more disciplined now. Now when I hear orders, I follow them. No questions asked. Sometimes I even get a little reward. I love my drill sergeant. I haven't seen him in years. Hey, if it works, it works, I suppose. Hmm. I notice you're not drinking any of your grape juice. Do you mind if I have it? Be my guest. Ooh, boy. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's funny. I've never actually met anyone in the armed forces before. And now you, my old best friend, are a proud member. You know, I'm starting to think, maybe the army is pretty cool. Glad to see you're coming around. Yeah, I mean, like, literally. What would we, as a nation, do if Syrians came and started burning and looting our cities? And we had no army? I mean, what would we do? Call the police? <laughs> if anything, we need to make our army even stronger. I couldn't agree more. Uh, hey, I'm actually out of grape juice. You mind if I go to the kitchen and get some more? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Dandrew! Care to explain what you put in my drink? Oh. Hey, Ace. Andrew? You know, some people don't like having dogs on their sofa. Is that okay? Um, here. Hey, Ace. 
peace. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh.